How's it going everybody, it's Chris here, um, I've got some gameplay for you, I'm playing Deathmatch on Hippocrates and we're going to be doing it a bit differently today, um, I decided I'd make myself a bit of a challenge, so as you can see I'm playing with Decoy and Knives, which is a bit of an odd set, but I thought I'd try it out, um, it's actually quite a coincidence that I was using this set, so yeah, just got a quick low off there straight away with the Decoy, so um, I was playing Deathmatch the game before this and I was playing on Mont Saint Michel and every all these guys are just camping up on that wire and I was getting pretty irritated so I swapped out my smoke for knives and I landed up getting this set so I thought I might as well just play one more match with it and actually landed up being quite a cool interesting match with a few um, quite funny parts so as you can see I've got a nice silent kill up there and here I can see the deacon in the distance so that's pretty easy so I'm going to set off the decoy so it distracts him and I can get an easy kill that's probably my most common use of that ability um, it's just getting easier kills by distracting your target there luckily the vizier gets taken out before he can kill me so Yes, luck was on my side there. <laughs> so yeah, I can't see the vizier anyway, so I'm just gonna wait it out. Um, this is a pretty good area to stay in Hippocrates, um, as long as you've got confidence because there's always gonna be a lot of action happening around those two blend groups. So, just gonna walk around. Um, yeah, that was a bit laggy, but he lands up contesting me and I poach the Guardian over there, but it's still a pretty good scoring kill. So yeah, I mean I've had a, quite a few problems lately um, on my PC, um, logging into Ubisoft servers and etc is quite hard quite often, um, yeah, <laughs> been pretty sad actually, but so there we go, get another contested kill, not my favorite thing, I really really hate those in all honesty, but it's alright, I hope we're gonna make up for it later, so I can see the guardian here and I wanna go for a hidden kill, so um, I was going to but then I'm pretty, I was pretty sure that Deacon is um, after him as well, so I just poach him quickly and my friend here, yeah, Anton, kills me. Um, <coughs> he's a very good player. Um, he's pretty well known on the PC. We've had some pretty um, tight games before. And you'll see he'll catch up to me quite quickly, even though he started quite late. So, you can see the Sentinels sprinting after my decoy. I don't know how I didn't get a lure. I was quite unlucky. But, I'm just gonna go for another hidden kill here. And,. I was trying to stun the deacon here, but it just wouldn't let me, um, didn't get the prompt anyway. So, the other tip I would give you guys is that if you are playing on Hippocrates and you're playing Deathmatch, it's very, very easy to get hidden kills on this map. And hidden kills just boost your score so much. I mean, 200 extra points for every kill. I think that's quite a good deal, so I would recommend that whenever you have the opportunity, just take one. Especially on a map like this, where there's so many blend groups. So, I see the Vizier get stunned over there, and I only saw the Crusader come in here at the last moment. So. But then it's too late, since I don't have any of the major defensive abilities, like um, Mute or Smoke, for example. Um, I mean, I'd like to hear your guys' opinions on, on Smoke Bomb because I don't really think it's right that they made it, um, that it can knock people off ledges and stuff. I think that's quite irritating because I always used to um, do that, especially in manhunt. So, anyway, yeah, I'm just going to use throwing knives to, um, it basically minimizes his stun range, so it kind of stops a contested kill. Sometimes it doesn't work, but it does seem to most of the time. So, I let off another decoy there, and nothing works from it. Just checking that that crusader is in afternoon. And, I see the guardian in the distance here, and I've got three seconds until my knife, so I'm just gonna run until then. And, a bit of a mess, but, 
Anyway, I get this done off of the knives. It's always um, quite satisfying. Um, kind of stun an NPC. Yeah. Um, just seeing your pursuer just um, standing there in pain and then stunning them. I uh, enjoy that quite a bit. Um, you've just got to um, slow down and walk before you get to them because it minimizes the kill range, which basically lets you get the stun on. So here, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a trickster on the roof after me and I got a lure from my uh, decoy, so I thought I got rid of her, but lands up. But lands out that she's still up on the roof and yeah, <laughs> she lands up taking me out. So at this point, I've got a fairly good score, especially considering the players I'm, I'm playing against and the abilities that I'm using. So I'm gonna get another stun off of my knives and then I'm gonna rush the kill with the deacon. Um, as you can see, go and go for uh, discreet kills because that's what happens. You become obvious to your pursuers, and it's just so much easier for them to kill you. Um, yeah. So I've been playing with the Bombardier quite a lot lately, and for some reason I feel like he blends in a bit better than some of the other characters. I'm not sure. I seem to get a few more naked stuns than I normally would. Anyway, yeah, I approached another guy. Um, <laughs> also, um, using a smoke bomb on that guy, unluckily, I was pretty sure he'd go for focus, which is why I realized and I quickly got in a kill there. So I know that crusade is there, there is a player, so I'm just making sure nothing's gonna happen. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go for a nice hidden silent kill. As I said, those hidden just help me so much. So that was an easy 600 point kill. Just gonna let set off my Tico here. Um, it's not seeming to do anything, but I've only got one this year, and I land up getting a little quite far away anyway. That Sentinel's not after me, I checked out with my knives. So those Deacons just stunning every NPC around. And I was pretty sure I'd get a nice kill there, but unlucky. Crusader comes and robs me of that kill, no problem. Um, <laughs> I did not enjoy that at all. I feel kind of cheated <laughs> when you're about to get a kill. Um, I guess the worst is probably when you're halfway through your animation and you get pulled out of it to be stunned or killed for some odd reason. So, Crusader got poisoned and I lose it. Um, I think I stunned a decoy and then. That deacon like drags me back and kills me, but I hadn't seen him anyway, so either way I'm pretty sure that I would have died at that point in time. So now I've got a few seconds left until I got my decoy, I've got my knives up, hopefully I can get off a few more stuns. But um, kind of mess up here. I really didn't see that Vizier at all until um, he was about to kill me. It was actually the Sentinel just using a disguise. So I land up getting a score times two bonus because I'm doing so badly at this point. <laughs> so I left my decoy, but somebody throws a smoke bomb which disables it. Um, so that's not my pursuer and. Deacon's basically right here now, so hopefully get a decent kill off. And the Sentinel just stands there doing nothing, I guess. Um, most likely waiting for a focus, but yeah, didn't get it. Um, so I got a nice thousand point kill there because of the incognito savior, which was pretty sweet. And then coming up here again, I'm just gonna wait for my decoy to come up just to. Um, be sure and as you can see there you go I get the low and you can see my target in the blend group there I'm sure there's that one since the other one um, just blended and then so I get a nice hidden incognito kill hidden bonuses just chaining together um, as I said before and I'm um, looking in a complete other direction of this um, Sentinel again, so yeah, um, <laughs> he keeps killing me. Um, 
obviously getting me as his contract cut off me. But I got seven seconds left to just get a target, so I'm just like stuff it, I'm just gonna run and those guys killed me enough for fighting or <laughs> so get some revenge because that's good for the soul. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, yeah, decent score considering the players and my abilities. So yeah guys, thanks, cheers. So everybody, don't forget to subscribe to Gamers Beverage, I'm sure it's in the box to your left and if you like this commentary, hit me up on my channel, Box to the Right, and I'm sure there's a link in my description. So thanks for watching guys, cheers.